there tonight. But the end result is it a feeling, a sense of dejectment really, that maybe have lost two points there rather than gaining a point? Yeah, I think when we're looking at um, how the games went and, you know, came back in the second half and scoring those two goals and, um, and the way we concede the second one, um, I think it's um, a two-point loss for us and uh, and we are disappointed not leaving the stadium with, uh, with the win. And your pressing game tonight, Patrick, was very effective. Pressed Arsenal high up the field, forced turnovers uh, close to their goal, and opportunities came about, and you really sort of got at Arsenal, really got at their throats there tonight. Yeah, I was really pleased with the, uh, the attitude that we, we showed today on the field. It was quite really challenging on the first 15 minutes, but then after, I think we managed and we controlled the game quite well. Um, that is why uh, the draw um, hurt because uh, because of the performance that we we had today, um, you know I'm really disappointed for for my players because because they they played well they showed a lot of uh, character personality um, we played high we managed to win the ball um, we came back and scoring those two goals so not leaving with the with the win um, I'm really disappointed for for my players. And lastly, for me, Patrick, uh, Christian Benteke was every there, everywhere there tonight on the field. He tormented the Arsenal defence from start to finish. And he really has discovered a rich frame of form since you came to the club. I think it's just um, all the credit to him. Um, you know, he didn't go to, uh, to the international. He, uh, he stayed and he worked fantastically hard. And today he get awarded uh, with the goal. I was really pleased with, uh, with his performance. Patrick. So late on, but how pleased were you with the performance without your star player, with, without Wilfred Saha? I mean, in previous seasons, you know, that would have been a, a really difficult thing to deal with, but you, dealt with, you seem to deal with it really well today. Yeah, um, you know, I knew that um, Edward could play on the left-hand side because he played that position before and with the French national team. And um, he was uh, he was really good, um, you know. The front three uh, work hard and they show uh, quality on the ball. Um, I think we just show that we are we are a squad and there is players uh, on the bench who can perform at that level and that uh, that's really good for us. And what was the thinking behind the decision to bring James Tompkins on and go to five at the back at the end? Did you did you feel you needed to sort of secure the the defence there? Would it have been yeah, otherwise. Um, on the left hand side, we, we had the uh, team who was giving the whip and uh, and he gave us a lot of uh, lot of problems. So the idea is behind was uh, was to to go with the with the back five and and have four midfielders quite really tight. Um, I think that was uh, you know there were some good and uh, and, uh, and 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 uh, and negative, but at the end. You know, outside of Chini's chance, uh, they didn't create much. Uh, you know, even when you look at the way we concede the second goal, um, it was uh, it was unlucky. Uh, but again, that show we 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 still need to 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 improve the part of uh, of our game. Thank you. Okay, Mark. I just wanted to ask you about the, the James MacArthur incident with with Saka earlier in that first half. Did you see it, and what did you make of that? No, I'm really sorry. I didn't have a chance to uh, to see him again. Um, you know, from where I was, I didn't see um, the foul or the talking points really. Okay, move on from that one. Um, in terms of what you guys deserved then today, another obviously disappointing late blow. But do you really feel like you did deserve those three points just on the merit of how you played today? On the merit, yes. I think we we were the better team today. And uh, that is why we, as a football club, are really disappointed not to leave the stage on the week. Okay, thank you. Thank you. That's two of your last three games now where you conceded in injury time. Is, is that something that's, that's more of a worry? No, not a worry at all. Uh, we have to understand that we are considering two goals at the end of the games. And that is something that we, we have to, to work on. 
but we'll reach no moment to it. Uh, you got a great reception before and after the game today. That must have been a nice reaction for you. Yes, it was really nice, and um, I thank the uh, the Arsenal fan for for the reception. But at the same time, I'm um, I'm not surprised because that's the state of lot about Arsenal and myself because of the nine years I I spent in the football club. Just finally, uh, with Will, I know it was he was ill, so he couldn't play. Is that COVID related or something different? No, 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 it's not a COVID related. It's something different. He wasn't feeling well since he came back to uh, to international, and um, you know we didn't want to take any risk. But um, he start doing some really light training today, and he would be joining the group on uh, on Wednesday. Okay. okay. You're saying that you've transformed Crystal Palace in just a few months. You've been there. Would you agree? And what is it you've done to to change the makeup of the side? The way you play. I don't want to say I transformed the team or anything like that. It's just, you know, the the quality of the player that we have in our football club. Um, it was a big turnover, and um, you know we have players who are young but surrounded by players with experience. And I think everybody wants to take the football club to a different level. Everybody is working really hard, really well, and um, you know we 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 know that. We still have a lot to, to improve, to to win football matches, but the process that we are trying to put in place, um, it's really interesting. Um, can I ask you about Conor Gallagher? Because he seems to be, um, he seems to fit into this team well. And again, tonight he had a very good game, I thought. What is your views on that, please? Conor, he brings us the, uh, the energy. He's, he likes to defend going forward. He likes to put opposition players under pressure, and um, and he can play. And and for us, it's uh, it's terrific to to have a players with such a strong ability to to run and behind the opposition team to stretch them. And uh, and he's playing with a lot of confidence. I think he's surrounded by players who expose his strength as well. And um, and it's good to have you with us. Thank you. Okay.